Hi, I'm Margaret. And I'm Zoe. And we're going to explain how to keep a lab notebook. Margaret, can you help me make a pre-lab? I'm not sure what I'm supposed to include. Okay, pre-labs are really easy. First, you write down the title of your experiment, which is PB and J synthesis. Then, you write Look down <laughs> the goal for your experiment, and our goal is to prepare an edible and delicious PB and J sandwich. What's this chart that we have right below the goal? This is our table of reagents. Before we begin any experiment, we should write down all the reagents we need. Our reagents for this experiment is peanut butter, strawberry jelly, and wheat bread. I also see that you have a column for safety and hazards. Where do you find that information? I looked up the information for all the reagents in the Sigma Aldrich Chemical Safety Manual. Um, and there weren't any that had to do with any of our reagents, so That's we don't good, worry about them. That's good, because we want to eat them <laughs> Right. Then we include a procedure. It has to, just has to be really brief, just so you have a reference to go back over while you're running through the experiment. Yeah, I see that you included the amounts of the different reagents that we have to use and things along those lines. Yep. So now, I think we can begin the lab. Time to start cooking. First, we should probably gather our reagents. Here we have bread, and it says on the procedure that we need two slices of wheat bread. Okay. Next, we need peanut butter. So we have this jar, so set that down here, and we need two teaspoons. Do we have a teaspoon? I see that we have this spoon right here, but I'm not sure how much peanut butter you can fit in the spoon. Yeah, I don't think that's accurate enough, so we should note that in our lab notebook. We'll use this spoon, but it might skew our results because it's not a complete teaspoon. We can't measure as accurately, so we'll write that down. Let me measure this out here. One teaspoon, or one sort of teaspoon. And now teaspoon number two. And then it says to spread evenly on one slice of bread. I can do that. This is really good. <laughs> I'll note that on the left book. Thick peanut butter. Difficult to spread. Difficult to spread evenly. What's next? Next we need um, our jelly. And that says we need two teaspoons too. Um, but since we don't have the teaspoon, we'll just have to note that we use the spoon again. Okay. I don't know how the taste of the sandwich is going to work out. It might not be as good. Yeah. So it's really important that we note um, inconsistencies in the between our experiment and the procedure. So, Use here we go. Regular spoon. One teaspoon. I probably should have washed this between the two. Oh yeah. Mixing chemicals right uh, here. Another thing to note. <laughs> I'm just making mistakes all over the place. Mixed. And there we go. Next teaspoon number two. Am I supposed to spread this as well? Yep, spread evenly. Make sure it's on the other slice of bread. There we go. It's smelling good. Well, that smells good. Okay, this looks pretty good. So here is what we have so far. Okay, next the procedure says to layer the bread so that one the spreads face inward. Okay. So, taking the bread. Okay, great right job, together. Zoe. Nice. Okay, so we're almost done. Next, it says cut bread in half. Which way do you think we're supposed to cut it? I don't know. We could do diagonally, or we could go straight down the middle. Horizontally? Are we supposed to leave the crust on? Are we going crustless? I don't know. It doesn't say. Okay, what do you think? Well, I always like cutting it diagonally. How about we do that, and then we'll just note it in our lab notebook. Perfect. Cut diagonally. Oh, that's really thick bread. It is. Okay, I'll put that. Thick and bread. Up two. Yay! Our experiment is complete. The procedure is looking good. Great job, Zoe. That was a good peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It was really good. I think we did a great job on that experiment. We should probably get to the post lab questions. Yeah, so first we should write down some stuff in a lab notebook about how our result worked out. So we can write down the sandwich was good. In spite of our measuring difficulties. Mm -hmm. So that's important to know. And then I think there are a few questions that we have to answer at the end. So we'll fill those out and then we'll be good to go. Sounds good.
Sounds good.